What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I told you I'd do a video on Antarctica. Here it is. Now, a lot of these photos, just about all the photos that I have, I have on my hard drive. They were sent to us by our good friend Sarah, as well as Julia. Big props go to them. And if you guys are not familiar with my other channel, which I don't really put too many videos on there. I've got a few. I put her thesis on there. Uh, you can check it out here. All right, here's the page right here. And you can see there's a couple videos here. There's one that's 2 hours and 16 minutes. That was her thesis at the time, but it wasn't completely compiled. So I had done a longer one. And you can see it's scrolling right here a little bit, right? Because I made it into like a scrolling book. And it has classical music. And it's at normal speed. Now, you can do two things. You can shut that music off, put it on your own. And you can actually speed it up if you go to the settings under uh, that screen that you're watching on YouTube, right? And, of course, I got regular videos here, 13 minutes, 20, and 29. And I think once you watch it, you should send a lot of people to that video. Here's the reason why. The site that they had was taken down. I believe it was up in Canada where they taken it down because basically they don't want people to know what's really up there. And they basically want to stifle our history and they don't want it to get out. For exactly what reason, I don't know, right? But you can check the page out and let me know what you think. All right, so here's a photo we're going to have a look at. This is really low res. And this was taken by a photographer named Jim Barker. This was like 70 to 71. You can see it right here, right? That's very low res. And now where have we seen them? Let's see, Martian photos. You always get this really crap quality. But here's the thing. The crap quality has got the better or the more, what's the word I'm looking for? Non-censored objects in it. Notice how this is completely whitened out, you know, so you really can't see much of anything. Now, these people are photographers. You're, you're telling me that they couldn't adjust the camera properly? Come on now. But they do the same thing, like I said, as far as Martian photos and moon photos. And then what they do is they censor it, smooth everything out, hide what they want, and then they make it look picture perfect. And that's the key to it, right? Like, this is the photo here. It's a little bit of quality. Notice the object in the middle mountain right there. Looks like some kind of weird structure or, or arc, right? And on the left-hand mountain, right there, you can see what looks like some kind of weird rectangular structure or something as well. And then you say, well, it kind of looks like the ones on the right, meaning the mountain color and the layers of rock, right? But interestingly enough, it's just there by itself. Hmm. So now we're going to have a look at a different view of this area. And it's more to the right. If you were to just go almost around this mountain range, let's have a look. Now, this is here, a central part of Asgard Range, Trans-Antarctic Mountains, Dry Valleys by, and I'm not even going to pronounce the person's name. Now, you look at this, you can just see the weird... I've seen this too many times, especially in Martian photos. It doesn't look correct. Now, it's not 100% clear, so I get that, right? Now, there's a couple features in here I want you to notice. One, you look at this, it does, in fact, look like a rock. And I think everybody would agree with that. There's something right here. It looks like something's going over this. I'll give you the link to this so you can also check this out. But, but let me show you the actual one that Julie had given me right here. Now, this is much clearer, but has it been censored? Absolutely. But there are a couple interesting features on this. One, I'm going to put it right in the middle of the page. She points out, and you'll see this in a moment, right here, there appears to be something like a cutout and what looks like some kind of weird tower or something sticking right out of it. And then we have what looks like some kind of weird structure or something at the top. Is it a structure? Is it rock? Hmm. What I noticed is right here. I'm going to get right in here. You can see a straight line right here. This has been completely blocked out with what I call artificial compression artifacts. We'll get into that again a little bit more. And this area is also really odd. Notice how we have this weird piece right here doing this. It kind of goes up. Has a point, goes down, has a point at the bottom, goes back up, and it seems to be a shadow. Now, this is the areas Julia pointed out. So she gets full credit for this. What looks like a wall. Some other weird white pieces sticking out here. Again, with that cut out, what looks like a weird tower. And you can see these here, which also look like weird structures or something sticking out. And to the left of that. You can see the top here. Now, she said this may actually be a pyramid. Actually, it could very well be. What I find interesting is all these little white parts. Now, all this brown right here, it's covering up a lot of these white pieces. Notice right here. I'm going to zoom in right here. Notice this straight line going right across the middle of the screen. You can see white right here at the top. I'm going to put it dead center in the middle. White, and it's less brighter white just below this line. So they're trying to hide objects in here. And I'm going to show you that right now, what I mean by hiding. 
Let's go right into Photoshop. Okay, here's the photo. And you can see right here, it is the exact same photo. Okay, now let's do this. Let's put it in yellow plate. We're going to look at a raw part of the photo. Check this out, folks. This is the normal photo. And this is when I sharpened it up. You can see a little bit more defined. Folks, check this out. What is going on here? How do you have right here? I can pretty much see most of that doing this. Okay, coming down, straight down. And then you can see bits and pieces of this compression artifacts that have been added too. Yet you don't see any of those squares up here. Hmm, interesting. Now we can argue the point that because that's a darker area. And if you look at it, so is in this area, this darkened area, and yet no artifacts. Imagine that. Now we can back out a little bit and watch this. Same thing applies right here. Every area they don't want you to see, they're literally taking out. Okay. And then there's areas that are completely fine, all up in here, in between of the blur. That's just crazy. Docker up here, yet you don't see these artifacts. All the way down here, you absolutely do. So this is being manipulated and censored. People say, well, what do you mean? What for? Well, because they don't want us to see our true past. Now, let's go back to right here. I'm going to leave these up here. What is going on right there? You can see that, but you will not see it if you don't look at the raw parts of the photo. And I can see them now where I can actually see the artifacts. They're not as bad here, but they are in fact here. Now let's have a look at the fully enhanced. When we look at this, again, we're trying to cut through this manipulation. It was all in here. This is the reason why you still see this blackness or, you know, this gray, but notice this thing is doing this going like this. I'm wondering if this is a wall right here, or if that's part of the opening, meaning like an outer layer of this structure and it's been collapsed. Like I remember talking to her and I said to her, is it possible this has been caved in? It's now ruins because of the weight of ice and snow, just ruins over the years and it just collapsed on itself or war torn. Is it possible it through war? Now, keep in mind, this is probably 100,000 years ago. And again, if you go to her thesis, you'll understand what I'm talking about because they talk about how they looked at the soil and they believe that there was, or at least there was signs of manufacturing and so on and so forth back about 90 to 110,000 years ago. Hmm, interesting. Now, if you look at these features, you can see these white parts sticking out. Okay. All inside here, you got these weird pieces here. This now does not look like stone. It looks more like they put the top of this over the top of the structure to hide whatever it may be, whatever it's at its peak, right? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But if you notice in the white pieces, you can see little pieces like this here. This item, I'm not sure what to make of this because it looks like it's like this here. It looks like it has some kind of weird like rectangular piece. I should have put the line better this way. It looks like something laying down on the ground or on the side of this hill or whatever this is. That's what it looks like to me. Go to the left of this. Again, we have all of this mess in here. This up here looks like this something hidden behind this centering. On the top here. This is where it even gets more bizarre. If we haven't really seen enough in this here. Original photo, we're going to have a look over here. Okay, we can look at this through the yellow plate or the raw plating in this. And what is going on here? Folks, seriously, what is that? That's a complete mess. You can see the centering. A lot of compression artifacts over the actual detail. Complete taking out areas here. I mean, you can just see this. This is just crazy. Completely manipulated and censored out. Now back to... The enhanced folks there's something in this this is not a mountain by any stretch if you look at some of the features in here like i pointed this out earlier it looks like it's doing this down up down and there is an actual shadow under this if you look at it right here see this right here this area notice again the same shape as we see looks like it's doing this and we have what looks like the shadow 
doing this. You can see that. That's pretty clear. Back out of that. Go back to the fully enhanced. And folks, when I see this, I see objects on the ground here, this right here, and what looks like walls or something they were trying to take out. I'm not sure what to make of that. There's something sticking out here on the right-hand side. Looks like it's doing this. Some weird pipe feature or something like that. Okay. Something connected to that. If you look at it, it looks like compartment kind of things or some kind of weird objects that there's pieces in here. Like this looks like there's some kind of weird piece there. It's round doing this as a small dot in the middle or some kind of cutout. Let's zoom in a little further. Yeah, I see a lot of like what looks like weird shaped items. Again, what looks like some kind of weird wall features. I'm not sure what to even make of this, folks. I don't, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you what they are because we don't know the exact size of this area, although this is a mountain. So you have to take that in consideration. But it's, it's just crazy the amount of stuff that's in Antarctica and they're going to do everything they can so they can suppress our history. Now, again, if we were to go back 100,000 years ago, was it us humans that were in one of the cycles of, of Earth? Meaning, because again, if we go back to ancient civilizations, they believe we're in the fifth cycle of civilizations. Most of them was taken out by flood, fire. You know, you can have meteors, whatever. All right, so when I look at this one here on the left, I see what looks like caved-in structure, or it's just because the way they centered this out, it looks that way. Because again, they're hiding a whole bunch of features. We can look at this part right here. This is crazy too, right? This little piece, it appears to have a round base and something sticking out right there. You can see that just like that. Again, with this other piece laying right here, this doesn't look natural occurring like a mountainside. You wouldn't think that's what it looks like. Again, is this some kind of weird, what we're seeing here in the white and when they try to block it out, make it look like ice. Is this possible? that this is just an outer wall or skin that's been completely decimated and just caved in. We have no way of knowing this. We're just speculating, right? That's all we can do is speculate in these photos. But what I can say is that I don't believe a lot of this looks natural. Again, when you have little pieces and stuff like this that look like this here, that to me doesn't look natural. That looks like there's something that looks like it's man-made. Is it possible, again, was it us back in the day? Was it another civilization that lived on Earth hundreds of thousands of years ago? And what we're seeing is remnants. Again, I don't know. Pure speculation. And again, when I look at that, I see what looks like multi-layered structure or something of that sort. It's not like our past people haven't built in the mountains to begin with. Or these structures and they're being made to look like mountains, right? That's something way back here, too. I just noticed this. Not sure what to make of this. It does this and goes like this. And goes down. It's pretty wide from here to here. See that? Not sure what that is. We can look at this now. I'm going to be honest with you, folks. In my opinion, these look like structures. Is it possible that this one here, and I'm going to put it in the middle, is it possible that's actually a pyramid and it's been blown apart? Or is it an actual, instead of a block pyramid, was it made by steel, some kind of metal, and it's been caved in over the course of time because of the weight of ice and snow? Is it because of war? Is it just because of age? I don't know. I don't know the answer. All we can do is, again, speculate and make guesses as to what we're seeing. Here's the original. Enhanced. Again, to me, in my opinion, these look like structures collapsed or otherwise. Of course, you folks be the judge. Folks, I've been sent photos from both Sarah and Julia over the years, and I have it on my external hard drive. Got a bunch of this information on why, in case the computer went bad, and of course it did. You guys remember that, where the power supply pretty much went bad and just basically just lunged out the rest of the computer, both motherboard, or maybe the GPU card, not sure, but anyway. The thing is, I do that for a reason because I don't want this to die off and I don't want the research to die off. There's a lot of information about Antarctica, let alone 
going to Mars and the moon and other asteroids that they're going to and all of this other stuff. Most of this stuff is recon missions, if you ask me. But you don't want what's right here on Earth to slip by as well. Why do they want to suppress our past? Or is it our past? And this is the reason why they're censoring it out. It's anybody's guess. Why they want to just censor that out to begin with is beyond me. Because that would be cool to know, well, if it, again, if it was us, because then you go, oh, so we were probably more technologically advanced than we are now? That would puzzle people. But if it wasn't made by us, then that's where they're censoring. Or is it possible it's both? You guys drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. I'm just curious uh, because I always like your point of view, what you're seeing, what you think it is. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And folks, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. A lot of people are saying, hey, I never even got any of your notifications for your videos. You may want to go back and make sure you're still subbed and you tick them boxes that says, you know, get notifications because you may not be actually subbed anymore. And as always, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more coming up. Stay tuned. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.